Senate for only 15 months, how much of a handicap did you find a lack of seniority? To you, or do you find it being a handicap? I don't find it as a handicap. Um, Article, um, Article 5 of the Constitution contains an interesting protection. It actually makes, it, it outlines the process by which you can amend the Constitution. And then it makes one kind of constitutional amendment unconstitutional even before you attempt it. You can't offset uh, the, the balance struck in the Constitutional Convention by giving any one state any more uh, votes or, or any fewer votes than any other state. So at the end of the day, if the seniority system ever resulted in such a way as to give uh, uh, less than equal representation to any one state's senators, then uh, that would itself be unconstitutional. And you can't even amend the Constitution giving um, uh, three senators to one state, one to another state, or anything like that. So at the end of the day, all votes on the Senate floor count the same. There are 100 senators. We each get one vote. And every senator from the most senior to the most junior has a vote that counts the same. There are, of course, some benefits to seniority. Uh, one of them I, I, I came to uh, become very familiar with uh, over the course of my first year or so deals with office assignments. It took them, I kid you not, four or five months to assign me a real office. We were in this tiny little, almost a, felt like a closet. We were tripping over each other. We had the Secretary of Interior, Ken Salazar, who I know is real popular here in Blanding. Um, <laughs> We had him in there, uh, I think, my first or second week in office or something like that. Um, I, I sat next to him on this conference table. It was, it was so small, our knees were practically touching. Uh, I was getting after him for that wild lands proposal, which um, I, I was explaining to him was, in my opinion, not authorized anywhere uh, by statute and w was not a good program, something that he needed to back away from. I later found out that he was complaining to people that I was invading his personal space. Part of that was intentional. I really did want to get right in his face, but part of it was just the office was so, so darn small. Um, incidentally, uh, I know I'm drifting a little bit from your question, uh, but I later concluded, you know how you always come up with a really good response to something after the fact? I thought if I had a chance to respond to that in person, I'd say, okay, Mr. Salazar, I'll stay out of your personal space if you just stay out of my state altogether. I think that would be a good deal. So it took me um, uh, almost five months to get a real office, that kind of thing. Uh, seniority also has its advantages in terms of um, rising to the level of committee chairmanships and things like that. You can do some good things with that. Not being a committee chairman does not make you handicapped by any means. There are people in the Senate who wield a lot of power who are not committee chairmen. In fact, most, uh, um, nearly all senators are not committee chairmen and uh, they nonetheless wield a lot of power. So it is, it is a factor. It is, it is certainly not something that I have felt has made me handicapped in any way. I've moved the, the debate forward on a lot of issues, and uh, any senator can do that. That's one of the nice things about serving in a body with only 100 as compared to the House of Representatives where they've got 435.